where do we want to go with this here? Let me see here. Um, I guess we can go ahead and go into uh to Bud Light, man. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead into Bud Light. Um, our boy Clay Travis, founder of Outkick, did an experiment, and he had um coolers of a uh, beer, multiple different beers. And Bud Light was in there. He wanted to see if people would actually take free Bud Light. You can probably guess what happened. I mean, <laughs> that beer brand is so toxic right now. But let's be honest, man. Rhodes, I think it's safe to say Bud Light is no longer associated with masculinity anymore. Oh, no. No. That, that's an issue. The tambourine players everywhere love Bud Light now. <laughs> Oh, yeah. My favorite singer is Elton John. <laughs> Let's yeah. go to an Elton John concert and drink Bud Light together. I mean, remember, Bud Light was actually <laughs> trying to give free beer to their distributors. Say, here, please take it. It's free. Please take it. Don't because, want it. You, guys, you got to remember the way Bud Light actually makes money, they're not selling directly to the consumer, the distributors are selling to the consumer. So it's like a supply chain. Bud Light sells to these distributors. Then these distributors will sell their beer to like your grocery store, right. bars and stuff like that. And they make money. The problem is if if like your uh, grocery store is filled with Bud Light, they're going to tell the, the distributor, hey, we don't need any orders. Nobody's buying it. Therefore, they don't get paid. And therefore... Uh, Bud Light, the distributors aren't going to buy from Bud Light. So that's right. the problem right, right there. It's a supply chain issue now. And, of course, Bud Light is panicking. Well, Clay Travis had this experiment here. And let's go ahead and uh, check this out right here. You can probably guess, guys, that um, people didn't even want free Bud Light. Free beer. Rhodes, how many people you know would actually pass up just free beer that like to drink beer? Um, absolutely nobody. Yeah, not in a normal world. <laughs> no, no, but not in we're a not living world, in normal no. times right now. So, uh, look here, Clay Travis performed a beer experiment, and the results are bad news for Bud Light. Now, where was he actually at? Was he at um, some music festival or something? Let's see here. Um, in a, in a cooler, he actually had, um, Michelob Ultra. Now that's actually a part of the, um, Anheuser-Busch and we got the clip here. He's actually going to tell you it is a part of that, but the average everyday person may not know that, but people know Bud Light is bad news. They know that. So where was this at? Oh, it was, it was at a concert. That's where he was actually at. So he uh, he tweeted this out here. Weekend experiment. Beers and cooler at Nashville area event. Uh, pick which beer you want. No one would take the Bud Light all night long. Big issue going forward for Bud Light is many don't even want to be seen with the product. They just pick another brand. And he's right about that because um. We're going to look at the uh, the tweet right here of his experiment. And boy. It's pretty much I mean, that brand is so damaged right now, man. It is so damaged. Look at this. It's 645 experiment here. There appear to be three different types of beer in this cooler. Franklin, Tennessee. Yingling. Ultra. Oh, yeah. And Bun Light. 6.45. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to come back and record this at 9.45 and show you what's left. And I understand for all you people who are like, well, Ultra is still the same company. I understand. I understand the argument, I think. I think it's the same company. All right. I'll be back in a little while. See you. Okay. So that's that first clip right there. Watch the next clip. All right, it's now 10.15. 
I'm not a marketing expert, <laughs> but the only beer left at the West Fest VIP, whatever you want to call it, event, Bud Light. Not ideal. Not. Yeah. Oh, that is that awesome. is a that's a disaster for woke light. Dude, a if you're out, a complete disaster. You're all you're out standing around at a concert, and there's seven chicks out there and four dudes, and we're all Uncle Jesse's, and we're out drinking. Are you walking over to a cooler and pulling out a Bud Light so you can walk over back to your no. buddies in front of the the ladies? And let's be real, man. I don't even a, want to a be lot seen. of guys. I don't want to be in the same room with it. A, a lot of guys <laughs> drink beer at the bar at the club because they want to get the women. What woman is going to want a man with a Bud Light now? If you're a single dude, man, you go out. And I mean, we were all in our twenties, roads. I used to go out to the club all the time, drink. What woman is going to want a man with a Bud Light now? Hey, do you think this is a a, a candy ass man's now bat signal for he's a he wants to be pegged? <laughs> is this is this his calling card for it now? Look at me, I'm drinking Bud Light, lady. Oh, uh, oh, he's a freak. <laughs> yeah, he's going down <laughs> another road. He's going down another road. Uh, no, I wouldn't want to be seen with it anywhere, nowhere. Yeah, nobody I mean, that's, wants to be seen. That's with part it. of their problem now. Is I mean, it's a there's meme. a visual. That comes with it now. Like I said, you got guys out there with tit tots. The only reason why they have a Miller Lite and they're drinking it is to make fun of it. Remember the the older guy? Somebody asked him on um, I, I don't remember if it's tit He's like, "How does it taste?" Oh, tastes pretty good. And then he spits it out because it's like contaminated his masculinity. I mean, it's a joke now, and those videos are taken over. That's so funny. And the vast majority of the consumers of Bud Light, guess what? They were men. And Bud Light spit all over men being masculine. I'm yep. sorry. I'm a man. Men, masculinity. Women, femininity. Nothing wrong with that. But men are going to be masculine. It's in our nature. It's in our DNA. That's the way we were made. People are also very aware of an agenda to cancel masculinity. People are very aware of that's, that. Now. That's a major problem right there. Um, women know it, and women are starting to show a more, more of an appreciation for actual masculinity. They want a man to be masculine. Yeah. And, and I don't, and I can't let's remember. Be real, what, let's be real, Rhodes. My wife wants me to be a masculine man. Why? Be a, because be she's dude. attracted yeah. to men. Dudes. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that simple. It's not bigotry to say that. That's how I that mean, works. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want my wife to be masculine. Just like she doesn't want me to be um, feminine. Yeah. She doesn't. Exactly. So, I mean, my wife, man, I mean, what well, I believe what like people that stay together so long, of course, you're going to have arguments and everything. Women are more sensitive than men. 